we're rolling. We're rolling. Turn that one. Turn that one. Hello, Floss Tube. My name is Dawn Marie. And I'm Anna. And this is our channel, DM's Crafty Vortex. <laughs> what else was that? Are you looking at me like I'm supposed to say something? <laughs> Should we try that again? <laughs> I think it said yes. Okay, we'll try this again. All right, serious. Because you go into, after that, you're supposed to go, and this is a channel about cross-stitching. Right. Okay. I think you can stop. I didn't know. <laughs> All right, let's try it. I'm going to try not to shift when I say my name, too. I notice I do that. You shift when you say your name? Yeah, I start. I get okay. uncomfortable, so I move. You stay very still. <laughs> My name is Dawn Marie and I'm Anna and this is our channel DM's Crafty Vortex. This is our channel mostly about cross stitch and then if we get up to any other hooligans throughout the month and we got up to a lot of hooligans. Yes we did. This month. We went to a cross stitch retreat stitching at the farm in Troy, New Hampshire. We will talk about it probably after we do all our whips and stuff. Um, but it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. The weather was amazing. Mm -hmm. It was unseasonably warm. Yes. So Beautiful. no jackets were needed. Nope. Um, because this retreat, well, everything's there. We're in little cabins around the main hall. So there was going outside a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Not very often, but a couple of times. This was... That's on, you know, the professionals tablet making all that noise. That I is. I just want to point that out. Guilty. So. It was Anna's first time at the retreat. It was. It was my second time. Um, but we've gone to a couple of retreats before that. So it kind of felt like coming home, um, meeting friends over again, making some new friends. Mm -hmm. um, so that was a lot of fun. But I didn't really purchase much. I purchased nothing. Nothing. I was perfectly well behaved. Yeah. Now we will still have haul to show because yes. I was not well behaved all month. I was just well behaved there right um, that's why i didn't purchase anything because i had spent quite a lot at stitch new england in north Alboro. yeah so if you watch pam from stitching in the land of good enough mm -hmm. she has a shop and uh, a lot of my damage was done at her shop also she also has a retreat coming up so i know like stitching at the farm it's I, most people pre-booked it's really hard to get into that because they give people first dibs however there is a new stitch retreat happening so nobody's in yet. Um, I think it opens tomorrow, tomorrow. for in-store registration. And yeah. then it's kind of a sliding effect. And then a couple of weeks later, it's for the floss members. And then after that, for the shoppers. But if you go to Stitching in the Land of Good Enough, Pam's site, she does have a video dedicated completely about how to get into the Stitch Retreat. So that's Stitch New England. It's 2023, October 13th and 14th, I think. So Friday and Saturday, you know, some people might arrive Thursday night, leave Sunday morning, mm -hmm. but really looking forward to that. Yeah, and all the information is also on the website on stitchnewengland.com, yeah. all the retreat information, and you can see the, it's a staggered registration process. So this year, she's wants to give a big thank you to her customers that have shopped from her, from her shop. So they get a priority registration, but then there's a couple weeks later, as Don Marie was saying, there's uh, the opportunity for um, the general public to um, register. Right. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait to go, because we'll mm -hmm. definitely be there. Yes. We'll have little staff shirts on. Yes, so. we're gonna be assisting. God help everybody <laughs> if we're in charge of the information. <laughs> right. <laughs> so um, speaking of that though, we were talking about how it would be great if there was one place you could go to find all the different stitching retreats. So yes. there is no place like that, but if you're going to a retreat in 23 or 24, or if you know about a retreat in 23 or 24, drop it below. Maybe we can try and, and start a list. Yep. And I know we have a communities tab. I've never used it. I'm gonna have to play around, but maybe we can put in maybe the community tabs or just get a list going somewhere of all the different retreats. Um, so again, even if you're not going, if you know one, put it in the description below and yes. maybe somewhere we can get a master list start, started that people can look at. Yeah. Um, that would or be we might just want to go, Don Marie and I. Yeah. 
That would be fun. Yeah. I mean. There's only so there's many. many. There's only so many vacation days I have. Right. Um, so I have two definites. Stitch in New England and um, Stitch in at the Farm. So luckily I have a year to work off the weight I gained. I know. Because okay. it was all inclusive. So much food. All inclusive. So much food. So many fritters. Um, I'm hoping we get a frugal Yankee one in April or May. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, maybe Penny from the Daily Stitcher does another one day one. But yeah, again, please, please put it below. So before we get into the whips, though, we're throwing it out there. 2024. Oh, yeah. New year, new start. And yes, that was not a typo. 2024. I know 2023 is coming up, but that's just a couple of minutes. Couple of months away. Mm -hmm. 2024. New year, new start, shadow lane. Yes, we're in. We are in. So we were talking about how it'd be so much fun to do something with some specialty stitches, um, just something out of our wheelhouse, something that's maybe a little scary to do because there really isn't anything out there that intimidates me with cross stitches because it's just one X at a time. Full coverage, one X at a time. Max color super size. Mm -hmm. It'll take a long time, but it's just one X at a time. And I love it and it's fun. But once in a while, you know, I'm getting older. So I no. have to work. Really? Like, no. Well, my, right now, because I need my roots done, I'm getting older. But once my, once my roots are done, I'm 20 years younger. But right now, I'm getting older. And I want to work the brain. I want, that's right. I want something a little bit more that's challenging. A challenge. And I know that's not for everybody. Mm -hmm. However, we, got, we hooked uh, Tracy from OG Stitchery. So if you have an OG Stitchery, yeah, you know, OG Stitchery, she's a floss tuber. So go check her out because we, she wasn't gonna do it, but I showed that there is a Halloween shadow lane. There is. Um, Pam from Pam and Steph, um, one stitch at it. No, um, just keep stitching. Just keep stitching. Pam from Just Keep Stitching is hemming and hawing because she has a shadow lane she wants to do. Uh, Pam from Stitching in the Land of Good Enough. We're going to convince her. She, yes. She's on the fence. She is on the fence. So if you watch Pam from Stitching in the Land of Good Enough, you need to go to her channel and make a comment. Gee, you know it would be fun. You should try a shadow lane. Yes. Don't tell her we said it. Right. Just We right. need her to be all of a sudden bombarded with, you should do a shadow lane. Right. Um, so if anyone has done a shadow lane, let us know. Let us know how yes. it was. If you're thinking about doing a shadow lane, now's the time to join us mm -hmm. because then we can all be there. We can support each other. Yeah. We'll get a um, hashtag going on Instagram and because it, requires, it is specialty stitches. Yeah, and it requires quite a bit of planning. That's why literally we're giving us ourselves uh, a year and two months uh, of lead time because there's a back, a back order or a delay in getting all of the materials. But um, if you want to get inspired, um, a couple things you can do because this is this is how I got Don Marie involved with this is I was watching Teresa Little Stitcher and she has for a very long time been working on a chatelaine called Evening in the Park. It's absolutely gorgeous. gorgeous. And she went to a chatelaine retreat and there she she was showing a table that had both finishes and whips of different chatelaines and I had never seen, you know, you see the mock-up on the on the website, but the mock-up doesn't include the beads and you can't really see the details of the stitches. And she zoomed in, zoomed in on a couple of the ones on the table. I was sold. I was absolutely sold. So then I went to the website and got more inspiration. And then I started watching a few other floss tubers who do shadow lines and got more information on where to order a kit. So um, it's a great, great project that's really going to push your limits, challenge you, test your boundaries. And, you know, it's a lifetime project. This is something that can take many, many years to complete, uh, but they're absolutely gorgeous. Stunning. So, and another reason why we want to do it soon is I think you sh it's worth it, from what I've heard, to go to the European, what's it called? European? I think it's called European Cross Stitch. Yes. Um, because... You just don't want to be here, there, and everywhere trying to find the flosses. And it can take six months or longer for them to kit it up for you. So you've got to be yes. patient. So I plan on ordering probably February. I want to right. get through Christmas because my life in December is Christmas. My car registration is due in de December. Our AAA membership is due in December, which I do for all mm -hmm. my kids. 
Um, and my Amazon Prime is due in December. Due, due December is just so yeah, a lot of a lot of stuff. So come February, I think I have it narrowed down to the one I want to do. Pam from I want to put stitching in the linen good enough and just keep stitching together in one title. I know Pam from just keep stitching. Um, so that's Steph and Pam versus our Pam. Um, so she was considering evening in the park. Yes, um, was the one. Because she had mentioned Teresa, I thought it'd be out of the loop. I've never heard of Teresa Little. I Little cannot Field. even believe you have never, never. heard of her, and she's she, never come up in my recommendations. She stitches so many of the fancy ladies, which you would love. She just has a variety of projects. She's hilarious. I believe she's in the UK, and um, but if you want inspiration on chatelaines or just a fantastic person to watch, Teresa Little Stitcher uh, is just an absolute joy and a hoot. And she's working on that evening in the park, so that's great, great um, inspiration for you. And then definitely check out the website, chatelaine.de. And that's a foreign website, and that's where, I believe it's a foreign website, maybe, I could be wrong. But that's where you would buy the PDF, in mm -hmm. and you definitely want to buy the PDF. I've heard that the paper patterns are very difficult to work with because the stitches and the beads, there's many layers. It's kind of like when, when back stitching on the pattern almost covers the symbol underneath of the mm. actual X. It just becomes very convoluted, so the PDF is much better to work with. And uh, you buy the PDF from the actual designer who actually is deceased, but her daughter is keeping up with the business. I don't believe any new patterns are being released, but they're just continuing to sell her existing designs. And then European Cross Stitch, which is a misnomer in a way because it's actually in the U.S., so you don't have to worry about um, expensive international well, shipping. if you're in the U.S. Yes, we have if you're in the U.S. True, so. very true. Yes. But it is in the U.S. for those of us in the U.S. Um, we'll kit it all up for you. You can attempt to kit it up yourself, but I guarantee you with shipping, you'll end up paying more money because there's no way you're going to find all these beads, all these specialty flosses. A lot of them use Gloriana silks um, and you'll never be able to gather all that. You'll have to piecemeal it, three things from this site, four things from that one. And by the time it's all said and done, you could have saved yourself some money and a lot of headache if you just get it from the um, European cross stitch that just puts the kits together for you. So now, speaking of Chatelaine, if you're watching, Jesse Marie does stuff. Now, I I have been watching Jesse Marie does stuff from the beginning. So mm -hmm. whenever I, she's my sick watch. Whenever I'm sick and I'm home for a week, I catch up on my floss tubes right away. So then I start watching her. So I know there's a Chatelaine that she kept saying she was going to save up and do, save up and do. I haven't reached the point because I haven't knock on wood. I haven't been sick recently. So I don't know if she ever actually bought it and started it, or maybe she has bought it. But even if she's bought it, Jesse, 2024, you don't have to do a new one because I know you have one going. You might have two going, but join us. Shadow Lane. Yeah, definitely. So so that's that's the Shadow Lane. New yep. year, new start, 2024. 2024. Let us know if you're in. Let us know if you think we're crazy or if yeah. it's something. <laughs> well, I mean, we know we're crazy. I mean, we know but, that. You know, they might think we're normal. Um, <laughs> they don't see all the hooligans and shenanigans. That's right. Um, but... Let us know if that's something you're interested in, if you think it's exciting, if you're going to join us, if you're thinking about joining us, mm -hmm. even if you're slightly thinking about joining us, let us know so that we can talk you into joining us. Yes, and, so. and Chatelaine's, there's different sizes. Of course, there's the traditional very, very big one, and then there's some medium-sized ones, and then there's even some minis yep. that yep. work up to be about six by six, I believe. And then we have Fancy Lady February coming up soon. Yeah. It's only four months away, so Fancy Lady February Get your fancy ladies together. It was really exciting at the retreat. A few people came up to me and showed me the fancy ladies that they picked that they're going to be stitching with us. Um, Lisa at Cross by Floss has started her Nora November, so she's already released her first video for that. So that was really exciting. I had to wait till I came home to watch it because there's there's no Wi-Fi, there's no reception at the farm. Um, so fancy lady February, I have my five all picked out. Now you don't have to do five; you can just do one. Mm -hmm. Also, um, because I did pull up Teresa Little Stitcher, because everybody talked about her, I only got to watch a few minutes of her. But, and I don't know if I watched a new video or an old video, okay. but I think they're doing a fancy lady New Year New Start for 2023. Oh, possibly. So there's that. Um, I won't do that because I'm going to wait till February and the last sure, thing I do is another too. fancy lady. 
but some people may be don't want to wait till February and that's fine too. Start it in January for them, join on with us and then you've got a couple of groups cheering you on for your fancy ladies. Definitely. So I think we've yakked enough before the whips and we've got plenty of more yakking to do after the whips. Yeah. Um, let's get going. So let's get going. Um, so we do have some shout outs that we'll do after the whip as well. Uh, so remind me. I will. And finishes. Finishes. Do you have anything fully finished? I did. I promised you all that I would finish the spooky alphabet by Hinzite. And this is what it looked like before. That was just the tiny bit I needed to finish. And it is now complete. It's not FFO'd. Do I have this right side up? Yes, I do. But here it is. It is done. And I enjoyed it so much. It's not a very common designer, um, but it was so fun. And there was a lot of back stitching. I'll come close so you can see this chain here on the right hand side um, is all back stitched. The letters have back stitching to create shadows. Um, but it was really, really a fun, fun stitch. And it is done. And what was it stitched on? Do you remember the fabric? Yes, this was stitched on 32 count. It's an orange hand dyed linen I purchased on Etsy. Um, I'm not gonna mention the, the dyer. It was my first time purchasing from them and they were new as well. There were a few issues. Um, so I don't know if I feel comfortable recommending, but overall it was, it was nice. Okay. And that was that. How about you? I think maybe you have a big finish. I do. I have a big finish. It's actually, do tell, fully finished. <gasps> See? Fully finished. She's so, on top of it. Because of this, I have very few items to show you. So thank goodness for Anna to keep the content going. But last we spoke... Yes. I purchased a mystery box. So, spoiler alert. You all remember this. Everybody should have their box by now, but spoiler alert. If you ordered the Autumn Lane Stitchery Mystery Halloween Box, look away because I worked on Tonight We Ride and it was phenomenal. And it was so much fun to stitch that I couldn't put it down. And it was October, so you know I was doing all spooky stitching in October. I didn't want anything if it wasn't spooky. Mm -hmm. So I could not put this down and I finished it. And I did not want it to go into a drawer. And my husband liked it and he kept saying, we're gonna hang it, we're gonna hang it. And he wants it hung all year round. So it was, worth, awesome. it was worth getting it framed. The fabric is Be Stitch Me Pumpkin Patch, 32 count linen. The frame was from Goodwill. Five dollars for the frame. Look at that. I did frame it myself, so um, I think for me, oh, this is only the second thing I've ever framed, so I'm not going to put it down at all because I'm pretty impressed with what I've done. You did amazing. And I mean, I saved myself like two hundred dollars framing it myself, so I am so happy with it. Oh, I, I was ecstatic it. about. I at first wanted a black frame, and I'm so glad I didn't go with black. Because if you look closely, there's that little bit of brown in the back. And, it, well, there's gray here. Oh, this brown, like the, the brown, shadows. Like the shadows of the, the shadows houses. there and the shadows here match perfectly with the frame. Yeah. Very cool. So in this video, in this lighting, does not do this justice. Not at all. This is phenomenal. It was so much fun to stitch. And, and didn't you get a super deal on this frame? You got to tell them about that. Yep. Yeah. $5 at Goodwill. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. Love it. So 32 count pumpkin patch from Be Stitch Me. Uh, it did come in the box. So that's the thing. It's everything came in the box. The fabric, the floss, well the frame didn't, but the fabric, the floss, the pattern, it was all in the box. So I got to start it right away. Beautiful. So, which is great because you mm -hmm. get so excited about something and then you get all the floss and then you got to wait for the fabric to come in unless you have a really good stash. And then by then, well, you still want to work on it. That excitement isn't quite as high sometimes. And I got to start this right away. And I just couldn't put it down. I love it. I can't stop looking at it. Oh, so, fully finished from me. That's I love awesome. It. I love it so much. So now I can hang it. That's a big, big accomplishment. Yes. Any more finishes? No, that's it. All right. So now we're on to whips. All right. 
You can go. You do you care what order we do them in? Oh, you gotta do whatever order you're comfortable with. Because I have no idea what order mine. All right, let's get this one out I'm of the way. I'm just gonna take a sip out of my stitching pad. Sure. My stitching. So I have quite a few smalls going. Oh, wait a minute. She's all this. I have one too because Dawn Marie made me one. It's even got my name. So I thought putting our names on it would make it so that everybody would know what cup is theirs. Mm -hmm. That's not the case. Thank you, Christine, for almost killing me. So yes, we are going to put it out there. She drank out of my cup. It happens. I mean, I don't know how. She had a different color cup than me, and it had her name on it. And then she felt bad, so she rinsed out my cup, and I was drinking hot chocolate. So she put more hot chocolate in my cup. Thank you, Raylene, for saving my life and letting me know that it was fresh hot chocolate because if I had just taken a gulp, dude, the, the coffee and hot chocolate there required ice cubes to cool them So down. hot. So hot. But So I knew I got some ice cubes in it. But she yep. could have had the big swollen burnt tongue. Yeah, maybe I would have had the swollen lips. Oh, yeah. It would have looked like Botox. <laughs> Free come Botox. Home, come on to my husband. He'd be like, I thought you went to a cross stitch retreat. Yeah. Right. There's a little Botox vendor there. <laughs> so, anyways, my cup. I love it. And now we have matching cups, yep. and I like that. And I just made them if people are going to ask. I know people are now going to ask. I did it on the Cricut. And what I did is I made a stencil, put the stencil on the cup put paint thinner, it's a gel paint thinner, over the stencil and let the paint thinner eat through the lettering and then it washed away the paint. So these aren't stencils on the cup, it's actually the paint has been removed for the silver shape lock. There you go, that's done. Whip. Okay. You keep distracting First me. whip I did. I've got a few wild violet cross stitch smalls going that I really thought I would get to um, this last month. I did not, I hadn't been feeling super well and didn't get as much stitching done, but I did work on one. Not quite finished yet, but it is Don't Fear the Reaper. And I'll show you what it looks like. Don't Fear the Reaper by Wild Violet is this design. And this is where I was the last time. I've got a hanging thread here. But this is where I am Lost now. Maybe I can put something behind it. This is where I am now. So I I think I have like 10 stitches left on that moon, but I literally was not well and could not even get those few stitches in. But I hope to finish this one by the next time that we film. That's gonna be my little goal. That's your goal? Yes. Okay. All right. That's a good goal. You only have what, 10 stitches left? No, I have I have about 10 stitches left on the moon, and then I have the rest of this tree and these oh, tombstones okay. down here. But not, not very much at all. If I put my mind to it, I could finish it in a few hours. And that is stitched on, oh, I should say, that is stitched on 32 count purple hand dyed linen, um, and it is by the same dyer as my spooky alphabet, because um, I had purchased quite a few from them. And that is it. Okay. Well, the next thing I worked on, because spooky October. Spooky October. I figured I had to bring up my magic study. I haven't worked on that in a while. So this is what it will look like when it's finished, if my tablet behaves, because we know every time we spin, for some reason. It's so beautiful. So this is magic study. And this is from Rose Cat Khan, charted by Heaven and Earth Design. And I'm stitching it on 28 count, one over one full cross. Mm -hmm. And I'm using the gridded Lugana because ain't nobody got time for counting. I'm ain't nobody count got time for that. I am a 10 by 10 grid person. And so it's, this is what it massive. looked like last time. It's massive. Let me unwrap. Ooh. That's got to be so fun to work on. This is what it looks like on the pattern. Yes. This is what it looks like now. Oh, so fun. And I have started converting this to Royal Rose. So 
So I did check out some videos on Royal Rose. Yeah, I gotta look into that. I, because I actually end going under my stitches in the back. And I noticed that every once in a while my stitches look a little distorted and they didn't look distorted when I stitched them. And I think, especially being on 28 count, when I'm ending, it's what's actually distorting. So I kind of like the concept of just pushing my, my stitches over and ending facing forward. So I did check out the Royal Row method. Um, and I think if you just type Royal Row into floss tube, it'll definitely pop up. So I've only got a couple of rows in on this, but that's what I did. I switched over to that and I am now at on this. Let me see. 16,997 <sighs> stitches, which puts me at 2.3% complete. Right, because it's massive. It's massive. Um, I did do 2,021 stitches in October on it. So I got quite a few squares done. You did. But it's so big that even at 2,000 stitches. But you got to pull it out sometime. So I thought the October was The colors are so fun, though, to work time. on. Definitely. All right. Up next, I have... A Raven Treasure. So a Raven Treasure is by Witch Wolf Web. Is it new? What's new? Is that a new one or a... No, it's a whip. These okay. are all whips. Uh, a, a Raven Treasure by Witch Wolf Web. It's an Etsy seller. They design patterns. Um, they don't design a lot of patterns and they're not very well known, but I came across it because I was searching for ravens. And this is what the design looks like. And that background, this is actually meant to be full coverage and that background is meant to be stitched. And I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. So I found a really... So, <laughs> go ahead. This is what it looked like last time. This is what it looked like last time. So one of the things about saying this is what it looked like last time out loud, which I forgot to say a magic study. It cues you. It cues, well, it cues the people who are stitching too. If you're stitching along with us, ah. it cues them to look up. Yes. But I just did a fail and didn't do it on my last one either. So sh that's what it looked like last time. And this is what it looks like now. So I got more work done, finishing off this back wing, some more ferns, and also over here, I started to kind of work on filling this in and more of these darker ferns coming in. And I'm loving that. I'm stitching that on 40 count dusk by fiber on a whim. You got a lot of compliments on that at the retreat. Yeah, it's definitely striking the colors and um, mm -hmm. the gradient of it. It kind of makes it look like a realistic crow, and it's pretty cool. What else you got, Don Marie? So I worked on my homework and got. You, we had homework? We have homework every month. Oh, yes. And I worked on Dragon's Fire. Yes. So since the last time I showed it, I completed my homework for. October and I've started my homework for November. So okay. November's not done. I stitched a little bit at the retreat, but I still have more to do. So I did 959 stitches Ooh. in October, which is more than our 800 that we're supposed to do. That's right. And I've done 562 stitches in November. So I've done 1,521 stitches. So I still have give or take like 300 more stitches to mm -hmm. go. And this is on Dragon's Fire, which is, this is another Heaven and Earth design. Mm -hmm. Artist is Miles Pink Pinkney. Mm -hmm. And this is the one that John Marie are both working on. Her way more than me. I'm doing about my 800 stitches a month and then maybe like 100 more, 200 more. But. Mm -hmm. And this is what it looked like last time. And Ooh. here is where I'm at this time. And I think this is also on 28 count. I believe I used on this as well. 
looks looking good. And again, everything for me is one over one, full cross. And I did get a um, Clay by Kim needle minder for this one. Don't know how. It's gorgeous. like I try every month and I never get one. So I just assume I'm not going to get it. So I was kind of surprised when I got this one. It's I was like, really yeah. beautiful. So this is my magic, I uh, know my dragon's fire. And as you can see, I converted this one over to Royal Rose too. So you can see this is my regular and this is why I switched over to Royal Rose. So. Awesome. All right. Well, I guess since you already showed what it's going to look like, Oops, why don't yeah. I... You got something else? Oh. I'm at 9,046 stitches and at 2.62% complete on that. Very yeah. nice. So while we're on the Dragon's Fire, she already showed what the design looks like. Charted by Heaven and Earth Designs, artist is Miles Pinkney. And that's the one that Don Marie and I are working on together. And I was... This is what it looked like last time for Anna. Yes, that is what it looked like last time. And I was able to... I was, I'm really loving this one. And I can't put it down. So I added another 5,000 stitches to it. I'm exactly at 20,000 stitches. And that is 5.8%. So about 10,000 stitches ahead of me. So you can see the difference 10,000 stitches makes. And so that's where I'm at. And I'm loving it. And from this point, sorry, Dawn Marie, I almost <laughs> took her out. <laughs> from this see point on. See the ninja on, fast reflexes there. I know. From this point on, all the way across, this whole section here is this pretty much this very dark sky. It gets a little lighter in the center here, but not much. So it's making it quicker to work on because sometimes there was a 400, a, a 40 by 40 block that was almost all black. Mm. But I'm loving it. It's, it was good. Okay. And that's, I'm stitching that. Are you, is yours on 25 count? I think mine's on 28 count. Okay, mine is on 25 count Easy Grid Lugano. Yes. So then the last thing I worked on, I worked on, oh, nope, I have one more thing after this. Um, I worked on my mirabilia that I started last year. So last year, Pam, I'm stitching in the really good enough, decided we were going to do a new start at the retreat, a mirabilia new start. We picked it out and we started it. Pam has since UFO'd hers, I, okay. think it's, I think it's the fabric. She picked an opalescent fabric and she just wasn't enjoying it. Um, I have continued going on my mirabilia. And what I will do is I am not doing a new start at this retreat until this is done. Okay. If I finish this, then my next year that I go to the retreat, I'll do a new start. I'll find something new. But other than that, this is what I worked on. This is what it looked like last time. I don't have any stitch counts or anything because it's not in Patent Keeper. Do you have a picture of what she looks like? It's in here. Oh, it's in there. It's in okay. there. This is an actual real. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. And it's Princess Eliana. Again. Mm. Mirabilia. Beautiful. Can you hear my dog? I can hear him. It's acting like it's the end of the world. And this is done on 32 oh, count gorgeous. lavender. Um, it's a Zygot Lugana. That's all I have for, I bought it at a, uh, at Celebrations the year before. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, you've got so much done. Fabric out of the way. Dawn Marie was so productive at the retreat. I do nothing but talk and pull pranks and goof off. This is where it is at. Now, I am so excited. I have a head, which makes you want to work on it a little bit more because now it's not just blobs of color. I can't tell if it's in frame or not. It is in frame and it's gorgeous. So I'm really happy with how much I got done. And she's beading as she's going along. So I it's am beautiful. Beading as I'm going. Now, people have asked, how can I bead as I go in a hoop? It's because it's not going to stay in the hoop. It was in the hoop for the, for the crafted show but it's gonna come out of the hoop and it's gonna go into a scroll frame. So that's Princess Eliana. It looks like I've got so much done, but it's like a hate, it's kind of deceiving. There is 
so much dress to this that it's not, yeah. e not even a dent that's a big in dress. the pattern. Yeah. But that fabric choice is perfect though. It really mm -hmm. is. It really brings out the other colors. So that is what I worked on mostly. So I did take one morning and I worked on getting my 500 stitches mm -hmm. into Dragon Fire, but this was Thursday night, all day Saturday, mm -hmm. and Sunday morning. So, but really happy. Really yeah. happy with what I got done on that. Definitely. All right. What else do I have? My other full coverage hate is Contessa with Squid. And that is by Omar. The artist is Omar Ryan. And I will show you what that looks like. That's Contessa. And I was able to get another 2,000 stitches into Contessa, bringing me to 20,000 as well. And I'm at 5.44%. And this is what it looked like last time. Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like now. Stunning. Now that you're into some of those colors. Yeah, oh, those finally colors I'm into some really... of those colors. And I'm enjoying that very much. And I'm doing both of these in the same method. I park. Um, maybe I'll show the back so people can see. My, my plan is to go all the way across on this top row in a diagonal fa fashion and then start the next set of 100 stitches down and also go diagonal. And on the back, it looks like this, which just freaks out Dawn Marie that I'm wasting all of that floss. <laughs> <laughs> but that seems to be a method that's worked for me. Although I'm interested in learning about the Royal Rose method and it might be something that I might try. Or you might prefer the way you're doing. Exactly. You know that scotch tape really works for you. The scotch, hey, you know what? I actually pulled up, you know, I use the scotch tape and I, anytime I need to put a thread underneath it, I have to pull it off and pull it on and it gets kind of, furry uh i actually pulled off the dirty looking scotch tape for all of you i did that Aww. for our viewers Aww. she really cares about you. i really care about you i didn't want you to think "Ooh, that looks yucky and dirty i got rid of all the dirty scotch tape last night put fresh new ones on just for you <laughs> all right so that's that you got any other whips i've got one last whip all right um we are a part of a stitch along from Autumn Lane Stitchery. Mm -hmm. And this one is um, Dot Queen of the Earth. And uh, the third, I can't believe we're already up to the third clue. Part three. But part three came out on November 1st. Mm -hmm. But then we left November 3rd. We did. For our retreat. So I did not bring it with me because I really wanted to work on Princess Eliana. And I know with me, I would have pulled it out and done my homework. Um, so I left it behind, but I've been working on it since we got back. And I am not done with that clue yet. It is a big clue. But last year, he left the big clue to the end. Um, the big part. The big part to the end. So we mm -hmm. did it in the beginning this year so that people didn't get to the end and then just not finished. Um, before I show this, though, I want to show on my bag oh. my zipper pull. Isn't that gorgeous? So Tracy from OG Stitchery made these and gave some out at the Stitchin, um, Stitchin at the farm. And this is the one I got. And I pulled it out right away. She's like, don't you want to look through them? I didn't need to look through them. The minute I saw this that one, the one, I said, that's the one. So thank you so much, Tracy. That is gorgeous. Yes, that's beautiful. And I got one from Tracy as well, but it's over there. So... Um... I will show it the next time. And of course, I picked a Halloween themed one. I think they were all Halloween themed because it was Most Tracy. Most of them because it was Tracy. She loves right. Halloween. So this is clue three. And I don't think, I think there's a little bit more to it, but. Um, what's her name? Cassandra? Cassandra didn't finish stitching. So this is a picture of her stitching, I think, is how it goes. Uh, but she was away on vac a family vacation. I think she didn't get to finish this part right here, maybe. Yeah. So see, this looks like it yeah. was stitched. So and these are all X's. 
And then these are all just kind of a uh, computer generated. Right. So that's where we're at. That is not where I'm at, but I have started this clue. I'm excited to see where you're at because uh, due to the retreat, I haven't even started my part three, which is this month's assignment. And I am doing Ooh. mine on 32 count gilded oak even weave because mm -hmm. we are using different fabrics. We are. Let me move there were two it. fabrics that were were dyed by yeah. Under the Sea Fabrics for this mystery stitch along. And one of them is Gilded Oak, which Don Marie's working on. And mm -hmm. the other one is Nightshade, which is a green that I'm working on. This is where I was last time because I'm currently working on it. So I'm not pulling it out of the um, hoop. Mm -hmm. So you're only missing a little bit at the top here because it's, it's working its way down. But this is where I am at now. So working my way down. It's very cool. So those are like her legs, I think. Yeah. But I will have this out of the frame for next time. Next time I'll take it out and show you the whole thing. But this is where I'm at. Love it. I'm really enjoying it. I just love the way, again, Aaron designed. He does nice blocks of color so you don't feel like you're in confetti hell. But <laughs> he has a nice change of color so you don't fall. Like if I'm working on, like when I was working on the Tonight We Rise. Yep. I outlined and then started filling in the black. Mm -hmm. I might have dozed off a couple of times because it was just, you didn't even need to look at the pad. Right. You just went into like autopilot. Um, so there's enough that you have to pay attention, but enough that you're not changing your thread every five stitches. So yeah, that's been nice. a lot of fun. You feel productive. Feel productive. So when we're done, I'll go back to stitching on this. I won't touch anything else until this clue is done because I feel like if I get behind on a stitch along, I get anxious that I yes. won't catch up. Or I don't want it to become another whip when I do a stitch along because I know that next clue is coming. Which is one of the reasons, you know, people have said the one that I said, oh, would have been fun to do. The Haunted haunted Library. Oh, The Haunted Library by Lola Crow. Yeah, that looked amazing, but that was a weekly drop. Yeah, that's a lot. And that would have that would have just given me too much. Yeah, when, when, we, when we're done filming, I'm going to do my monthly assignment as well because I want to make sure that I stay caught up. So Definitely. that is actually all my whips. Okay. I have nothing else left to show until we get to the haul. So I just have three more. Uh, one of them is Seeking Refuge. And this is the one that I worked mostly on at this retreat. Um, that and my crow were the two pieces I pretty much focused on at the retreat. Seeking Refuge looks like this. And it is by the Scarlet House. This is where I was the last time. And this is where I am now. So that bottom border that I'm working on, it has to go all the way across the bottom. So I would say it looks like I'm almost halfway, huh, Don Marie? It looks like it's underneath the door of the house. Yes. And I assume the house is centered. So you will I, have this done by next time. I should have this done by next time. Throwing it out there. She will have this done by next time. Yeah, that's all I gotta do, just that bit down there. I'm gonna this one and don't fear the Reaper. I'm getting done by next time. Just put it out there. It's in Floss Tomb World. Yeah. So. so that was that. And then the other two so I have. Fabric you oh, I'm that? sorry. The fabric was 40 count. Dirty Teacup by Needle and Flax. And that's the same fabric you're it's using on yours. Uh, that's one of the patterns that Don Marie are stitching together as well. One of the many patterns we seem to be stitching together. I know. Yeah. We have so much of the same design aesthetic that... We stitch some of the same things. Although our shadow wings, we have completely different yeah, choices. Yeah, completely shadow different wings. choices I, Although there. I picked mine. Picked it. You think you're going to go with that one? Yep. All, All right. right. And the last two that I have are new to the channel. Oh, nice. Okay. I haven't, these are whips that I've had for a while, but I haven't worked on them in some time. And the first one is my long dog sampler. And it is called the pointed fifth. And if any of you are familiar with long dog, 
you will be familiar with this. It came out sometime, I think in 2021. I started it last year for black, hashtag black sampler November. And this is all I did. Just that little tiny bunny. And so I decided to pick it up this time. Wow. And I made a little bit of progress. I'm almost done with page one. So now I've got the bunny, I've got a pig, I've got like an eagle or bird there, I even have a dog. I'm accumulating a menagerie of animals and now I'm actually very excited about working on that. That is being stitched on 40 count platinum by Zweigart, just very basic, with the cone of doom in 310. And she's gonna have that done by the next floss too. No, nope. that's not happening. That's, a row. this is not even page one and I can't even tell you how many pages there are, but I love it. I love working on that mm. one very much. And the last one is a pattern called just dragons. It is by Silver X Stitches on Etsy. And this is what it looks like. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. This is a smaller pattern. Isn't it gorgeous though? I really like I'm it. Not stitching it. It's smaller. It's only um, 400 by 286. So it, it actually. It tends to be on the smaller side, for sure. It is, let me see here, because I have it written down. Um, it's only 114,400 stitches. So compared to um, like my Contessa with Squid and Dragon's Fire, which are in the 365,000 mm -hmm. stitches, this is like a third of the size. And I'm stitching it on 28 count, antique white even weave, not gridded, which does slow me down, but because it was smaller, um, I decided to try it on this. And this is where I was the last time that I picked it up. And working on it recently, I added another 2,021 stitches, bringing me to 4,221, 3.69%. And this one, as you can see, I'm already into the dragon because it's small. So it's very satisfying that I'm already into that. But I have to admit, just doing these 4,000 stitches, I know that um, I much prefer pre-gridded fabric for <laughs> any full coverage. Although I do have two other smaller full coverages already kitted up on fabric that's not pre-gridded. I may go ahead and, and do that, but um, if you're ever doing a, if I should say if I am ever doing a large one where I know I'm going to be into the 200, 300, or how many does Magic Study have? I don't know, 500,000 stitches. Just a little bit more than that, nine, gridded, nine, gridded for me is something. the way the way to go. Yeah. So that's it. That That's all I've got. Four whips and such. No new starts. Magic Study has 739,260 stitches. Wow. Yeah. Yes. She's a big one. So that's all your, that's all your it. whips? That's everything. All right. So I'm only showing this because I've gotten a lot of questions on it. And the quilt behind me. Do you me, want to do haul? No, I'm just going to show this quick first. Uh-huh. So the quilt behind me is um, from this book, More Laps, Fun Fact. So I've gotten just a lot of questions. The, I don't know if this book is out of print. I had a hard time finding it. So I wanted to make this quilt. Couldn't find the book. Looked everywhere for the book. It was nowhere to be found. So I bought the book. It took me a while to find it. I was able to pay a regular price for it but I was only able to find it, um, I don't even remember, Missouri Quilt Company or something like that. I'm not quite okay. sure. Again, this was a while ago. It's amazing. Bought the book, the book came in, and my book mysteriously reappeared again. 
Oh, as I said, how much I'm glad I don't have my house guests anymore. Right. So, um, and no, I don't have a second copy of this book. If anyone asks, the book has already been gifted to a quilting friend. But more laps from facts is where this quilt is in. And people have asked if I'm going to work on it again. There are two more blocks done. I've only got three more blocks to go. They're all three are in progress. So Beautiful. by the next time we film, all the blocks will be done. And hopefully I'll be working on this action. So that's my 10 second segment into quilt. I know sounds lost too, but say this is the quilting portion. No, this is... This is the quilting this, second. This is the qu quilting second. This is how our, <laughs> we, we don't follow rhyme or reason because that takes too much forethought. So, um, haul? Haul? We can do haul. Yeah. I actually have haul this time. Yay! I did not purchase anything at the retreat, but I had purchased things at um, Stitch New England, which is Pam's shop. And I have a pretty big haul. The first thing I want to show you is I picked up, finally picked up my expo order. So I'll just go through them really quickly. What I got, um, Witch Training Academy by Kathy Barrick. Love it. I, of, of course, with all of these, I'm going to say, I want to start this next year. I don't know. So I'd love to start that. I picked up Autumn Cloche by Hello from Liz Matthews. These were my expo pre-orders. I got the uh, Teresa Kogut book, Hello Halloween. It has 11 different patterns in there. And I got Scary Sampler from Heartstring Samplery. This is the one that I'm actually most excited to stitch. It's very cool. It's very interesting. Every element that's in here is there for a reason. It's related to um, a spooky movie or a spooky series. Like these flowers, the shape of them are reminiscent of the Demogorgon in Stranger Things. There's a snake on the lawn over here. That is uh, a striped black and white snake, and that's um, a, a nod to Beetlejuice. So this was done with some intention. So I thought that that was really neat, although I didn't know that when I purchased it. I just purchased it because of the phrase. I really liked it. And then the last one that I picked up was not um, not new for Expo, but it was had come out earlier, and I really liked it. It's by Cottage Garden Samplers. Cottage Garden Samplings, excuse me, and it's called Trick or Treat. So that's what I got for patterns. I got some random floss that I needed for some projects, so not very interesting there. And I purchased quite a bit of fabric. This is Eucalyptus by Fox and Rabbit. I'm not going to open every single one, but that's Eucalyptus by Fox and Rabbit. This one I got a big piece because I have a project intended for it. It's uh, Weeks Dye Works Tin Roof. I think the colors are coming out pretty, pretty, pretty good true. Yeah, on a, with our lighting. And then these here, I'm just gonna fan them out because they are all by Atomic Ranch Fabrics. So on that note, Pam has opened up a fabric of the month from Atomic Ranch Fabrics. Um, the colors are listed. However, I think all the neutrals are going to be brand new to the club. And then one mystery that I think Pam picked out. So Atomic Ranch Fabrics is the designer of her Fabric of the Month Club. I don't know. I think, I don't know if there's a cutoff date on it though. I don't know. It's on her last video, I think. So go back and check that out. But beautiful fabrics. They are beautiful. So these are the colors that I got. And I think that's showing pretty true. Yeah. And I'll give you the names of them very quickly if you're interested in any one. This is Aslan. I feel like I'm saying an audio word when I'm saying <laughs> That is how it's the A-S. Asian, isn't it? No, A-S. Oh, that's an L. A-S-L-A-N. Aslan or Aslan. Not Arsling, but Aslan. This one is called Bayou. 
a brown. This one is an orange, but I think it has more red than more orange. Rusty. In. Yeah, more rusty. rusty. Pumpkin King. Pistachio. I need to this chair. Sequoia, which I did see this one was one of the ones on Pam's list for the year. Sequoia. Very pretty. Shh, don't give away the color. No, no, it's on there. But they wouldn't know what it was. Now you just give away the mystery. Oh, well. Can we fix that? Nope, I'm not editing. Okay. Bad me. And then, what's that say? Moonstone. If you're interested in picking that up. And that's it for... That was more damage than I needed to do. So I actually have some haul as well from Cam Shaw. Not quite as much. I've got a Mill Hill frame. Mm. Because I do Love have a couple those. of um, button and beads kits. So I do have the frame. Now, when I'm done. Have you just wanted to make a little cute down here? Oh my God, did I just sing? I am so sorry. You do not need to hear that. Your poor ears. I'm gonna put a disclaimer, cover your ears quickly. And then I got 13 Spooky Smalls That's by great. Lindsay Waite and Katie Rogers. So. Which is Primrose Cottage Stitches. Is it? Mm-hmm. Oh, yep. Look at her being the professional. I'm the professional. She's the professional. I'm just a hot mess. <laughs> so that really cute really cute i got a couple of fabrics also um from atomic ranch fabrics so i got red current mm. potentially for some fancy ladies and i got moonstone oh did you have moonstone i got moonstone too we both got moonstone so so that's from Pam's. Then I got my Be Stitch Me order. And Ooh. I always like seeing these. So, yeah. Do you think? Nope, sorry. You're all down with a crinkle. Um, so, again, I get, well, now I get three fabrics. Because I don't want to miss out. Like, what if I get the colored fabric and I really like the neutral? So, I get 20 count Ada. And I go back and forth. Neutral and color. Neutral and color. I get 32 count even weave, which is all color. And then I have a 32 count linen, which is neutral, but I'm only getting that for one month. And next month she got her 40 count linen in. So this is gonna switch to 40 count neutral. Okay. And let's start with the Ada. So the colored is whimsical. And I've started writing, because she doesn't put what month it is, so I've started writing the month on the tag. But, so this is Whimsical on 20 Count Ada. I really got one of these too. That's a pretty broom. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. And then I got Whimsical on the 32 Count Even Weave, because that's always the color. Which actually, I think, you know how sometimes the Ada looks different than... Mm -hmm. The, the even weave. I think in this case it looks very close. Um, a little lighter. A little lighter. But I don't know if it's actually taking color different or it's because the weave's so close together. It could be. It's more like a painting versus mm -hmm. really pretty. 32 count versus the Ada. So this is actually longer too or maybe it's just a little bit different. So yeah, so you can see that there's a slight difference, but mm -hmm. again, I feel like the colors are actually pretty true to color on our screen. Yeah, they are. There's not a drop of natural lighting down here either. We are in a basement, but. In the dungeon. But I do use um, art lights, which are my quilting lights. DM's Crafty Vortex, you should have named it DM's Crafty Dungeon, since we love dragons. And then Gray Magic is my the linen. And it's the neutral. She's going to flip that a million times just so it looks I crinkling. like the sound of crinkling. It means something good's coming. You hear the crinkling, it's like you look up. Oh, they're going to show something fun. That's a good way to look at it. So, gray magic. Oh, I like that one a lot. Right? Yes. Wonderful. 
feel free to add in. Really good neutral. Mm -hmm. So, and I did sign up for another fabric of the month. Of course she did. It's not my fault. It's Hannah Dowling's fault. Do you watch Hannah Dowling? I do watch Hannah. Okay. She's really naughty and she enables everybody. Mm -hmm. And it's with... <laughs> Tina. That's where she gets all her fabric from. They have gloss Grace too. Notes. Yes, Grace Notes fabric. That's who she gets her yeah. fabric from. So I signed up and I did the every other month again. Neutral one mm -hmm. month, color the next. Tempted to do a colored and a neutral. Took it out, put that one. I really, I'm a full coverage stitcher. But if I want to start something small, again, I don't want to go on, look for fabric. Mm -hmm. It comes, it looks different than it looked like on the screen. So, and I think I signed up for 32 count linens. Okay. With them, I think. It could be 20 count. Might be 32. Stay tuned next month when I get my fabric mm -hmm. in. I'll remember. That'll so, be fun. Then I watch Olivia from Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. Okay. And every year she puts up her Halloween quilt. Oh. You know which one that is? Yes. In it's the back. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And it's got all the embroidery on the outside. Um, and it's still, you can what still get you it. What did you do? I, I bought it. Hocus Pocusville. I didn't know you got this. Crab, App Crab Apple Hill. And it's still available to purchase. Oh, it's beautiful. Yep. So I purchased it because I'm crazy. I don't know when I'm going to start it. Tomorrow. She's starting it tomorrow. Because I am doing the no new starts for 2023. Except okay. For, except for February. And... If I finish something, I'll allow myself to start. I didn't know this. This is news to me. Is you not? watched the last video. We had a whole conversation about this on the last video. Okay, so you're doing the fancy ladies, but other than that, no new starts? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, viewers, remind her that we had this whole conversation last month. Look at that. I don't know where I was. I don't know. You're supposed to memorize what we said. I know, everything. Yeah. Okay. So I'm tempting no new starts, 2023, except February. Because I am doing Fancy Lady February. Okay. And I'm doing the New Year New Start with Janet for the D&D &D Dragon. 12-sided di 12 dice fairy. 12-sided dice. Fair. 12 dice. See, look at her memorizing my projects for me so I don't have to. Yeah. All right. And then the last thing I got. It's only because I want to stitch that someday too. So everything she wants to stitch in full coverage, I want to stitch. Look at this. It's all in. What's this? this? So Jessie Marie does stuff. 100% flame Whoa. her for this one. We are going, wait until you guys see this. This is like throwback. Throwback big time. Paula Vaughn from Leisure Arts. Quilts for all seasons. Wow. So just so you know, because this is, I'm pretty sure, out, out of print, um, you're going to find this pretty expensive out there. I got it for regular price. So be on, don't go spend $60, $70. I found this supposedly used. It's supposedly used. It's brand new. It's brand new. Whoever used it went, oh, this is pretty, and put it away very carefully. And I don't think, I don't think I spent $20 on Does it. Does it have a year it's, on that? So this is $19.95. I literally think I paid like $20, $21 on this. Don't touch Oh, okay, I won't touch it. Does it have a year, a, a copyright year? I'm just curious of how how far back this is going. I am being, because it is out of print, I'm being a little more She's delicate. being cautious I'm with being it. Cautious. I can't even touch it. Now I might get my, you know, her dirty oil, scotch tape my dirty scotch it. tape fingers on it. Does it say? I'm just looking. What's, oh, right down there. God, the pressure. The I pressure. Know. 1994. Not 1994. That oh, yeah, what is it? Maybe it is older than I I'm like, oh, that's not that bad. That was just a few years ago. Yeah, 1994. I mean, it's 28 years. And it's that DMC and Anchor color conversion. It's 28 years old. But, and Jesse did, I think, this one, maybe? Is that the one she did? And she just finished yeah. that one. What's or that? she's working on that one. Oh, like a fall one. Yeah. So it's like, so like you have 
It's really pretty. January. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. But January. And you have February, so it's a quilt for so every month. So it's one so for every month. So there's 12 patterns yeah, in here. Yeah, that's wonderful. And she's been showing it literally, I think, since her first video. She has been working on it okay. all these years. But last year she finished one. This year she finished mm -hmm. another. And the quilter in me fell in love with it. Right, because it's like a so mix. It's, it's like, like cross-stitched and quilt together. Right. Very so nice. That is my haul. That's it for haul, huh? Yeah, that's it for haul. So... Shout outs? Oh, yeah. You want a shout out? Who do you got? Who do you got? I'm going to have you go first because I've never done a shout out before and I feel weird. You feel weird, dude? All right. So, for my shout out, I found New to Me. And I think I found her because I have a habit of putting floss tube in at the end of the day as I'm stitching and then go to bed at night and I fall asleep because I need something to fall asleep to. Mm -hmm. Fall asleep to floss tube and I think I woke up to her. Okay. Somehow she just, you know how it just runs, and I woke up to her. And she does full coverages. She is doing Tonight We Ride, which I just finished. So Oh, yes. Yes. She's right up my wheelhouse of what I really enjoy watching. Mm -hmm. Her Floss 2 name is Stitching Big Things with Hallie, H-A-L-L-I-E. Um, so I'll put the link down below to her. So Stitching Big Things with Hallie. She's going to be doing a December Whip Parade, oh, which I'm fun. very excited about because where I just found her, I'm really looking forward to a Whip Parade to get mm -hmm. to see everything she's doing. But I'm really, I love every single project that she's showing. Uh, so if you're like me and you like to, the full coverage, mm -hmm. and it's not as easy to find full coverage cross stitchers. I mean, they're definitely becoming sure. more and more, but I still think there's a lot of the, um, the prim and the samplers um, who do amazing stuff, but I like to look at the full coverage. So Stitching Big Things with Hallie, I definitely give her a recommend. You should go check her out. I'm looking forward to her December Whip Parade, which we were also talking about doing a December Whip Parade yeah, versus a we should. January Whip Parade. Um, I don't know, what are people's feelings? I feel like January is when everybody does a Whip Parade and you get overwhelmed with Whip Parades. So this would be more of a end of year Whip Parade mm -hmm. versus a beginning of the year Whip Parade. So that is my shout out. I mean, we've mentioned a bunch of floss tubers sure. throughout, but I think people know pretty much most of the people we announce in the beginning. But definitely, um, yeah. And my shout out is to Darling Bluebell. Her name is Mika, and she stitches mostly full coverage, or at least all full coverage that she's shown so far. And I just, I loved listening to her. She has, I believe she's in the Netherlands and she's got a beautiful accent and I've enjoyed seeing all of her projects. Her favorite color is blue. So most of her projects that she's working on, which are full coverage, are predominantly blue. They are absolutely beautiful. It was just a joy to watch her. So definitely check her out. Darling Bluebell, her name is Mika. All right. So I think the last thing we get to talk about is shenanigans and hooligans at Stitching at the Farm. So I want to start out with, we had, she was a subscriber. Her name was Krista. Mm -hmm. And she reached out at the bottom of a comment and said she was going to be at the retreat. Now I say was a subscriber, not because she's not going to watch us anymore. Hopefully she'll still watch us. Yes. But I've taken her out of subscriber category and put her into friend category. She's totally a friend. Totally a friend. We kidnapped her to our table. I don't we think did. we gave her any options of where she started to sit and we're like, nope, nope. So we kidnapped her for the entire weekend. She definitely fit into our table. You know, it was a very prim and proper table. Oh, yes. No hooligans. No whatsoever. swearing. No. Totally PC. Actually, I behaved. Did you see how much stitching I got done? I behaved. I was the sweet one in the group. She did get a lot of progress done. I did not. But we talked about it. Everybody gets different things out of retreat. Mm -hmm. I work in a field where I am surrounded by people all day long. Customer facing. Customer facing. Customer dealing. Lots of noise. Very overwhelming noise. Lots of music from overhead. Um, and then I come home and I'm exhausted and I 
I'm lucky if I get some stitching in at night. I go to retreat. Now I meet people. I talk. You do. But I like to zone sometimes and just enjoy. I got to stitch for a few days. I didn't have to go to work. I didn't have to deal with people. Mm -hmm. um, I would get up to, you know, some of the shenanigans every once in a while. But I was there for the stitching. You get to stitch a lot at home. I do. Yes, I'm at home most of the time. Every day alone, stitching. My husband leaves early, and I'm generally, I would say, from 6 in the morning to about 5 at night, I'm completely alone. So I don't have an opportunity to be social. So when I go to retreats, um, I'm up and about talking to people, getting to know new people, saying hi to old friends, making new ones, um, telling stories. Um, I try to be comedic. I don't know if it always works but uh I, I just i have a good time i even played a prank you know i play some pranks you got to throw a prank and at at least one prank in every retreat but i had a great time and it was wonderful there were about 80 people there mm -hmm. the uh venue is really nice it's on a farm there's animals we got to collect um two chicken eggs every day although the chickens were lazy they were not really laying they were lazy old chickens, I think. I've heard, I can't confirm, but I heard that somebody was going in early and taking a bunch of eggs. So that's oh, why they really possibly. weren't as much. Possibly. But you could Probably. collect eggs. You could. But you um, did not hear that from me. You could feed the pigs. They had goats. Um, they had cows. They had donkeys. It, it's just a beautiful spot. And you feel like you just got away from everything and um, got to stitch and meet friends and... Now, I warned you about the food, about how much food there was, how good the so food was. So much food. Was I accurate? Yes, um, they definitely feed you. I would say they even overfeed you because we'd have breakfast at eight, but really we'd wrap up breakfast by nine, and then all of a sudden at you know five minutes to noon, everybody's kind of tidying up their things, their station, and I'm like, what's going on? And they're like, it's almost time for lunch. I'm like, we just ate. Like I could still, I was still like burping breakfast. We just ate. And then the courses, every meal had so many courses. And every meal had dessert except for breakfast. Yes. Every meal had dessert except for breakfast. Dinner had two, had a dessert in the middle and a dessert at the end. Yes. Dinner would start with a soup, a salad. Then they'd give homemade you. Homemade bread. Yeah. Homemade bread. Then they'd give you a third course, which was a fritter. I had mm. never heard of this before, having a dessert this is in between. It's doughy goodness with maple syrup over it. It's like a round deep fried donut with maple syrup. And one day it was a... Um, banana? A banana fritter. One corn. day it was an apple fritter. And one day it was a corn fritter. Mm. And then they bring out family style dinner which is they put platters in front of you and you can take as much as you want and go back to those platters as much as you want and they would bring out more if they saw that it was getting light and I, I mean there were at least always two vegetables to pick from sometimes the first night there was grilled chicken and salmon to, to choose from mm -hmm. it was an overabundance of food it was absolutely wonderful I enjoyed it and highly recommend it if anybody is able to get in um, it does book very quickly because those of us who attended this year have first refusal at our room for next year. So like Don Marie and I, before we left, we're already booked for next year. Right. But if anybody is in the area, uh, in the New England area, call East Hill Farm in Troy, New Hampshire. Pull up the website. It gives you the details and the phone number and see if they have any space Even available. If you're not in the New England area. It'd be fun to meet some people from other areas. Sure. There you know, was there one girl who came from in. Oklahoma. Yeah. She came from Oklahoma from on her York. own, didn't know anyone, yeah. had never been. And a lot of people from Connecticut, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, New York, Maine, you know, of course, New Hampshire, uh, Vermont. But um, I think there were some people from Pennsylvania even and Ohio. People come from all over, but it was absolutely right. a joy. It's great, too, because with the food being supplied, a lot of places, a lot of retreats, sometimes you get, like, one meal, and then you fend for your celebrations, you fend for yourself. It was just, you went, you stitched, and you thought about nothing else. Right. But, and if you didn't like any of the food, there was almost like a kitty menu where you could pick from. There was. Um, so now you did what you said you were going to do, and you haven't, you're waiting a week to step on the scale. I am. I'm I not. did not. 
I stepped on the scale yesterday and I had my butt back at the gym last night. Ooh. So yeah, it will be a workout again tonight. It, I, if you walk away gaining less than five pounds, I would be surprised. And I have to fit into my work clothes on Thursday. So, right. So I was at the gym. Luckily I have a good support staff and that my daughter calls me pretty much every day. You want to go to the gym with me? You want to go to the gym with me? My son went to the gym mm -hmm. with us last night. So I was back at the gym. Yeah, I'm sure I'm not doing it. I'm going to wait seven days uh, because I did weigh myself before I went because I had been trying to change some of my eating habits to see if it helps with the GI issues that I've been having. So I'm going to wait a week and get on in a week. And I'm hoping that maybe I could be close to where I was before I left. That's kind of my goal. Yeah. So that's it. That's it. Yeah. What else we got? I don't have any pictures. Well, I have one little video from the farm. That's about it. Um, the blackmail video. <laughs> Listen, I didn't start filming until after the black nail portion was done. Okay. I so. talked, I, when we visited the animals, I had... Oh, yes. That one. I forgot I have that one. When I was talking to the pigs? Yes. Yes. She's got a video of me having a conversation with the pigs. That was, that was a voice I'd never heard come out of you before. It was scary. Well, you have to talk like they would talk. Okay. I'm inserting that video. You guys tell me <laughs> if this is how you think pigs talk. This video is coming. Let me know if you think that's how pigs talk or if you feel like I just went into the twilight zone when she started talking. Smile to you, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Do a little smile to you. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta, yeah. You gotta be dirty little smile. Luckily, I was the only one with my phone thinking to film, so there's no black nail videos of me that I'm aware no. of. No. Hey, I um, never said, I never claimed to be normal. But <laughs> I... There, and there were other people out there who took videos and took pictures. Helen D. took pictures of the brag table. Okay. Um, so go to Helen D. to see things. I am a live in the moment type person mm -hmm. where when I go to retreat, you will never get videos from me because I look at the brag table. Not the brag table, the smalls exchange table. Smalls exchange. Um, but I don't want to be thinking, oh, I got to film now. Oh, I got to film now. Right. But my phone, you know, we luckily we didn't have Wi-Fi. I say luckily nobody could bother me. Um, and my phone pretty much stayed put, except for that one walk around the farm was really the only time yeah. I looked at my phone. I just, I wanted to enjoy the moment and enjoy the people. Yeah, it was a great, great time. Yeah. All right. I don't think we have, I have anything else. No, I think we covered more than enough. More than enough. So until next time, mm -hmm. where I will hope to have my video game sampler show again, and I will hope to have my golf shown again. Now that we're out of spooky October, right. I don't really stitch turkeys or anything like that. I have November to just have fun. I don't really stitch Christmas either. So, yeah, so you get to stitch whatever so you want. So I get to stitch whatever I want for the next couple of months. I really want to get into my golf one. I haven't touched that in a couple of months. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Until next time. We'll see ya. Happy stitching. Bye. Bye.